Welcome to Ars Electronica Garden Barcelona 2021 with works by Estampa, Andy Gracia, Oscar Martín, Esther Rodríguez Barbero, Anaísa Franco, Stefan Tiefengraber, Antoni Abad, Soleman López, Mohsen Azrati, and innovation platforms such as Imensiva. Ofigital and Remix El Barrio. This edition of the Ars Electronica Garden Barcelona is going to be focused on this idea of hybrid times and interdependence. We are all mutually reliant on each other and we do think that we need to reinforce this idea of interconnection between different agencies. We wanted to create and reinforce the different connections between art, science and technology and uh, what we decided is to do a uh, process. The Ars Electronica Garden Barcelona consists of five different phases. An open call for art, science and technology grants. Artist residencies taking place in scientific and technological research centres. Production processes in art production centres such as Angar and La Caldera public exhibitions at Canodrom and Espronceda Institute, and a series of open talks to share the results. We are doing a research project that attempts to put in relation the camera obscura as the device behind all photographic image and the artificial intelligence that's operating nowadays on top of those images. The starting point is a comparison side by side of the image projected by a bar lens with the visible transformations that neural networks do when they are doing object detection, pose detection, or face detection. We like to use history and historical artifacts in order to understand the present, and that is why we are comparing a camera obscura and the contemporary technology of artificial vision. For Rush Electronica Garden 2021, I'm developing the first tangible instance of a, an ongoing project that I've been researching for more than a year now with the Institute of Cosmic Sciences here in the University of Barcelona, which is currently titled The Ends of Everything. It's a project briefly putting it about the end of the universe. The piece I'm creating is called Neuron Action. It's an installation that connects your mind with this interface. The main idea of this piece is to allow people to play with their mind. It's like a big brain that it's full of neural connectors that it means light. So people wear a sensor called Next Mind. So if people look to a triangle, all the lights goes there. And if they look to a square over there, all the lights goes there. And they will be playing with their mind. I am creating a piece that is called Do Bodies Dream of Electromagnetic Organs? What I want to explore is how to build a kind of environment where you can experiment another perception of time and space. For this edition of uh, Ars Electronica Garden, I will develop a new branch of MMM. This new piece will be focused in the analysis of melodic content. A machine learning model will resynthesize this material and the song will be generated by a compressor, a branch of tubes. My name is Antonio Abad and I am one of the many artists living in Barcelona. What I'm presenting to the Ars Electronica Garden is the Spanglish version of the 2001 EGO project, nowadays part of the BIP collection. It is a generative animation in which a swarm of flies form with their bodies the Spanglish version of some egocentric mantra. Me, and me, and me, and me. For Ars Electronica Garden Barcelona 2021, I'm creating the piece called TH minus 50 PH 10 EK minus wall and it's a kinetic sound and video installation. The used device is a plasma screen and this technology got obsolete and replaced by newer technologies 
and thereby these screens that were used many years in museums to display art, I want to turn it into an artwork itself. In the Instituto Esponacide in Barcelona, we are going to display a unique installation. Behind the project of Olea is the production of an olive oil that is included in cryptocurrency. Olea is a project that is talking about uh, the hybridation of the species and about the question of how we can melt those worlds that normally are separated. During the Immensiva residency, we created Oxytocina Machina, a hybrid VR installation that connects two strangers that are separated by a thousand miles. During the Ars Electronica Festival, we're going to step up our game to now connect four strangers. I am an artist and designer working across media, and I will be a developer for Tesserize. I am a creative technologist and neuroscience researcher and will be acting as developer on Ice Time. I'm an intermedia scientist, artist, and experimental filmmaker, and I'll be acting as director and cinematographer. Ice Time VR will be an immersive media scape in hyperspace, enacting the space time of glacial ice from within a four dimensional tesseract. It will be a hyper documentary poem revealing the space time effects of climate change on ice. The Theater of Inconveniences is an immersive experience observing the complex space of Barcelona, identifying, narrating, and rewriting fragments of the urban fabric. It is actually exploring the cityscapes and its everyday scenes in a psychogeographic environment. In our minds, by creating this project, Stanislavski method was more and more repeated. The urban elements, along with everyday objects, merge into a space of imaginative conflict, consumption and inconvenience. <laughs>